Hi friends, I'm Mansur Siddiqui, SQL Server DBA. Today we are going to discuss database level auditing with SQL Server 2012. You normally heard about auditing in organizations in different sectors to audit accounts, which is crucial for industries. Actually, auditing means inspection of company books, accounts, and documents, etc. Now, what is database auditing? Database auditing is nothing but monitoring and capturing database events, activities, and logs. Auditing keeps track of user activities at database level and instance level, like login, logout, execute, insert, update, delete, create, drop, alter, etc. For every audit of SQL Server database, you can create only one database audit specification, and database level auditing is not available with all additions. It is available only in enterprise, developer, and evaluation editions. You can audit at server level events and database or database level events as per your specification. Sure, I am going to create step by step database level auditing with SQL Server Management Studio and TSQL, which is quite interesting and important for database professionals like DBS. So, here we are creating audit on AdventureWorks 2012 database. This is my Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. And to create a database level auditing, first we have to go to instance security, server level security, go to audits. Right now we don't have any audit audit so I will create it new audit now you can see in create audit window so you have to type audit name you can keep a default one but I want to change it audit we want to audit adventure work database adventure work 2012 I'll keep QDL as default 1000 uh, which is one second you can increase it if you want on audit log failure if you want to continue then select this otherwise if you want shut down server if audit log fails then you can select it but uh, I would not uh, recommend this option okay now, if you have a requirement for this then you can go for it Otherwise, you can continue with the auto log. Now, uh, you can choose a fail operation also. In uh, audit destination, you have uh, different options like file, security log, application log. So, like security log, application log, you can uh, monitor all, all these events in uh, in your windows, event viewer, and your security uh, events. Okay, but here I'm going to select file. File path, you have to uh, give your folder path on your disk. So I'll browse it. I have audit demo uh, folder, so I will select it. Now, audit file maximum limit. You can give unlimited uh, rollover files, or you can uh, uncheck it and specify your number of files here. Uh, I will uh, keep it. As default now a maximum file size I'm going to give 10 MB for this demo you can give uh, as per your requirement in uh, GB or TB now I'll uh, click on ok now this is uh, my audit which is just now created now you go to my uh, database I want to monitor this database adventure works 2012 so I go to database security and database audit specification right now I don't have any uh, database audit specification so I will uh, create it I right click on it you can see new our database audit specification is already there click on it this create database audit specification window will uh, pop up. You have to give name of this by default. Name is available, but you want to give my name audit 
underscore ADL underscore access you can view uh, your name as per your specification created now we have to select audit and as well we have just created audit so we'll uh, go to drop down and select our audit audit of 2012 now uh, audit action types so you have lots of uh, action types here as you can see audit change group backup restore group like you can uh, track who is back um, taking backups and restores and lots of options available dbcc group delete execute insert select update and all these lots of uh, features are available lots of action types are available so i'll I select a schema object access group object level for object level access okay and a schema object change group i'll uh, take some more uh, options like successful database authentication group or database permission change group uh, I'm just taking for demonstration okay you can create as per your requirement I'll just click on okay now uh, we have created our uh, database audit specification and our audit just now okay so if you can uh, see both uh, audit and uh, database audit specification right now are uh, disabled so you have to first enable it right click on it enable audit success now right click on audit specification and enable database audit specification okay so now uh, we have created it now i will execute some uh, sample queries and i will monitor uh, whether we are able to capture it or not so i'll open a uh, few queries audit I'll select adventure works select a start from tbl customer okay you can consider that somebody is running uh, select command somebody is executing procedure somebody is dropping table and someone is inserting record and I have deleted record now yeah, we did lots of things I'm going to uh, run this query select a start from sys.f and get audit file it will uh, go and read this audit SQL audit file okay uh, which we have selected in C drive audit demo so I will execute it now you can see here okay Action ID. This is select, execute, select, drop, insert, select, delete. These are action IDs. Now, uh, as you scroll here, session server principal name. You can see. Okay, database principal name. You can see server instance name and your database your schema name and object name which is captured now as you can see here see delete record is captured insert record is captured drop table is captured select a start from tbl customer and execute customer and select a start from all these records you can capture here and you can monitor who is doing what okay so uh, this was our uh, database level auditing 
Now suppose if you want to uh, create the same audit with TSQL. So you have the option. Okay, somebody is like a TSQL lover. This is quite simple and easy. Suppose you don't have uh, right now any audit on your database. So for that what I'll do, I'll just go and delete it. Okay. Now we don't have uh, any audit or audit specification. I'll just refresh it. No audit specification on Adventure Work database because we have deleted uh, because we will create it by query and we do not have any audit. Okay, so for this uh, by query, what you can do, you can use master create server audit and your database name to file. I have given my uh, C drive audit demo folder. Okay, you can give maximum size, uh, max rollover file. Reserve this space okay with query delay on failure continue or shut down whatever you want and then you can enable this audit so let's just do it okay this query is executed I just go and refresh it now you can see your audit adventure of 2020 is created now We'll go and create audit specification. This is use Adventure Web 2012 create database audit specification. Your specification name for server audit audit Adventure Box 2012, which we have selected, and on a schema object access group, a schema object change group, database permission change group. You can uh, give, uh, you can add these actions as per your requirements. I'll just go and execute it. Okay. Now I'll navigate to my Adventure Works 2012 database security and audit specification. Refresh it, and we have created it. Now the process is same. Okay. Uh, whoever is executing insert, update, delete, and all. Okay, as per uh, specification, whatever you created, you can go and uh, execute this select start from C start F and get audit file. And you can give this index and execute it. And you can find that who did what. Select, execute, okay, insert, then delete it. I'll go and select this message and get audit file. All those records, all those logs and events got captured here. So and this was about the database level auditing. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and newsletter. You can uh, visit to my uh, website sqlserverlog.com and uh, you can see uh, database uh, level auditing with SQL Server 2012. This article is already present. You can go and refer it. And uh, if you have any query, you can send to me. Thank you.